Russia's Roscosmos State Space Agency announced that its Soyuz 2.1 bits vehicle was utilized in a launch on May 17, which served the interests of the Russian Defense Ministry. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this briefing, please kindly support this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help you to learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded on this channel. Thank you. Let's keep going. This announcement follows claims from the U.S. that Russia recently launched a satellite potentially capable of attacking other satellites. Pentagon spokesman Brig Gen Pat Ryder stated that the satellite was likely a counter-space weapon and shared the same orbit as a U.S. government satellite. The U.S. is monitoring the situation closely and remains prepared to protect its assets in space. Russia has yet to make a public statement on these allegations. The recent events underscore ongoing tensions between Moscow and Washington, who have been accusing each other of attempting to militarize space at the United Nations. On the same day, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova accused the U.S. of trying to turn space into a battleground. The notion that space could be the next frontier of warfare is becoming more plausible as global dependency on technology grows. Jen Ryder emphasized that the Pentagon believes the Russian satellite, presumably capable of satellite attacks, is a counterspace weapon. He noted that the satellite's characteristics resemble those of counterspace payloads deployed by Russia in 2019 and 2022. The U.S. is committed to defending the space domain to ensure continuous support for its military forces. A spokesperson for the U.S. Space Command echoed these concerns, stating that the satellite Cosmos 2576, launched from Russia's Plesetsk Cosmodrome on May 16, is likely capable of attacking other satellites. Roscosmos, in a statement, confirmed the May 17 launch, which could be attributed to the time difference between Moscow and GMT while both Moscow and Washington had not divulged further details. Space analysts have identified that Cosmos 2576 appears to be in the same orbit as the USA 314 satellite. Since the full-scale invasion of Ukraine by Russia in February 2022, there have been warnings from Moscow that U.S. satellites aiding the Ukrainian military could be considered legitimate targets. In February, the White House acknowledged the development of a concerning new Russian space weapon, although it had not been deployed. This acknowledgement followed a cryptic warning from a senior Republican congressman about a serious national security threat, which sparked intense speculation in Washington, D.C. A report by the Center for Strategic and International Studies highlighted that Russia is developing various anti-satellite ASAT weapons. This includes a missile successfully tested against a defunct Soviet-era satellite in November 2021. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.